Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator. On uh, this episode, let's see, it is September, and we're continuing this job on Field 72. And so I kind of need to look around here to see like where I'm at from the last episode. And I think we just need to do the um, the weeding. Now, the downside is, I don't think I... This is like one of the problems when you stream and <laughs> and then on top of streaming, you also um, do other videos. Ooh, I would love to buy this field. Ooh, it's ready to harvest. There actually might be some harvesting missions. Uh, it's still saying I failed that mission. I guess we'll just collect on it. Um, part of me wants to try a bailing mission. <gasps> Wait, did we do this? Oh, no. I don't think we did yet. Even if I borrow the equipment, that's going to be a pretty good... Huh. Oh, here's a harvesting mission. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> Field number 60. Okay, this one I definitely want to take. Um, and I'm just going to... I'm just going to borrow the items. Because... There we go. Okay, I need to... First, the first thing I need to do is align the trailer here. Whoops. I actually like that they... It, it, I don't think they charge as much money when borrowing items in this game compared to FS19, if I recall. Boy, my mouse is really touchy today, too. That's not touchy enough. All right, right there. <clears throat> so I'm sorry if I... I might sound like my nose is a little stopped up this episode. Um, as with most falls, I kind of get a little bit of... I don't know. It's not really a... Oh, there we go. Popped right back into place. And then I think we're going to wear field 32. No, that was the harvest mission, or the fertilizing mission. Field 58. Ah, way over there. Okay. So I am going to pick this target right here. Okay. AI worker E is blocked by an object. I think that's the one that um, that I just sent off, so he's okay. But yeah, like every fall, I <clears throat> around you know times in November, depending on what the weather's like, I just get I don't know if it's like you know the mold in the air because there's usually pollen and mold, and obviously there's no pollen this time of year. So oh my gosh, I did this again. 
think I did this during my live stream. So if I sound kind of stopped up today, I apologize. I've done everything I possibly can to uh, keep that from happening. Oh, we're going to have to turn on the uh, beacons so that my beacon light turns on in my in my room here. That's so hilarious. Driving to the farm. What is that out in the road up there? Oh, that was the John Deere. I think... Wow. I think it's... Wheels, like, were showing, but then the top wasn't showing at first until the turn. That's funny. There he goes. You can kind of see him off there to the left. Ah! I'm going to have to do an experiment sometime to see... If the uh, the AI vehicles are still running like they used to, meaning they basically they used to just drive a circle around the map. They would never go off map, but they would just <clears throat> essentially continuously drive a circle. So it would be interesting to see if uh, those cars still do the same thing. Now, I know some of them on the highways, uh, they are going to appear to drive off maps. So I don't know what happens in that case. Uh-oh. Oh, he hit this car. Well then. And he hit the bridge. <laughs> wow. Come on, Giants. And that's not even the, the largest combine. I mean, there's bigger combines in the game. So having a bit of trouble navigating this corner, I see. Wow. <clears throat> okay, so here we are. trying to do everything possible right now not to sneeze. <laughs> it's a T560, so it's not even close to being the biggest uh, John Deere. Let's see. Let's stay out of the road.
send the worker off to do that. Um, in the meantime, I think there's a couple collectibles over here, and if you want, if you want to find out all the collectibles yourself too, um, I just released a video on it. Um, so uh, go check that video out, and I show you where to find all 100 collectibles all in one video in under an hour. <gasps> Oh, wait a second. We might have already gotten these. Oh, no. Did I already get them all? <laughs> I think I did. Oh, no. Yeah, I, th <clears throat> I think I might have already got the ones in this area. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like really coffee tonight. I almost need coffee. There's another one that's like right up here. Oh, we didn't get this one. Well, that's good because that'll put another thousand dollars in our pocket. I wonder why I got those two, but I didn't get this one. The mysteries of the universe. Okay, so we've got this guy. Okay, he's going. He's going to be done here pretty soon. Uh, let's check on that job. So 67% cultivating. The one I really want to do is this one. I almost want to try this, this one, though, because I have yet to do uh, potatoes. And I would just like to see, um, you know what it's like and unfortunately that's the smallest potato harvester it's on field 60 which i if i recall well field 60 is not that big for some reason i was thinking it was like this one or this one but field 60 is not really all that big so maybe once i get the cultivating job done which yeah is right here on field 72 maybe i'll transition over to that one the potato. And then we'll kind of all be in one one area. <clears throat> I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna run this manually for a while just in order in order to save a little bit of cash. Meanwhile I'll do some nice panning camera angles to, to make the job look more pleasant and enjoyable for you. Sometimes I just like to, sometimes I like to just get out and, you know, manually farm the fields. And I think the motion of the crops 
in Farming Sim 22 is much improved over FS19 and obviously previous versions. I still, to this day, I still think about getting out Farming Sim 13 and, um, you know, just as, just to compare it. And I wonder if I still have FS11 on my Mac. If I do, it's probably not compatible anymore. I realized the other day that um, the YouTube app on my iPad no longer works, no longer plays back video. Now I have the very first, like the first generation Retina iPad. That's the one that I have and Needless to say, it is ridiculously old. Um, I definitely had it in 2013. I don't. I just don't recall off the top of my head when those were released. But it was either 2013 or it might have even been before then. I, I just don't recall. Um, uh oh. One thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get our other guy down here. Ah, oh, my beacons are on. My beacons are on. My beacons are on. Yeah, right there's the t the potato field. Right there. Uh oh. I missed a little bit. While that's filling, I think there's some collectibles down here that I haven't gotten. Yeah, I see one over here. Boop. There's another grand. And another one. There's the plow and the cow. Plow now, brown cow. No, that's... It's too much. It's too much. Alright. the worker just for a bit because we're gonna go and we're gonna check this guy out okay so he's even getting closer to being finished so 89 percent and then what tractors do we have this is a 78 10 Okay, so we cannot upgrade the, the uh, engine on that. I was kind of hoping that we could. And then we got this one. So they're all kind of in that same price range. All right. Yeah. What I really, really want to do is I want to work up to get to... To be able <clears throat> to be able to buy enough fertilizer to get this um, fertilizing job, because at least then we'll have a fertilizer tank, which I don't think we didn't have that right. No, so that'll be pretty important moving forward. See how are we doing here? Ninety-three percent. I'm gonna hire, fire him, and I'll just take this over. Ah, there's uh, there's collectibles right here too. Well, 
Well, maybe when I finish this job, I'll, I'll go and get those. And I think there's... Yeah, there's more up by that bridge, too. So we could actually get five right here. So that'll be 5,000. Yep. Contract on Field 72 is finished. So, me being the imperfectionist. So there we go. We're going to collect that one. Let's see, how much money? So we're only up to 19,000. Oh man, we are going to be really close to being able to buy that, that, um, trailer. Now here's another thing, and I know I've mentioned it during my live streams, but I want to know what the heck these things are for. People are, people. Oh, come on, Xbox controller, stop it. There we go. Um, these things, some people say they're burn pits, and there's a big flag there to keep you from, like, hitting them. But, I mean, it doesn't really... I mean, it kind of maybe looks like a burn pit, but then it doesn't exactly look like one. Um, I would love to know what those are. So, there's a collectible right here. It's really easy to see. Um kind of in this uh, house right here. It almost looks like a trailer. Such a narrow trailer. And then coming across the road, you're going to find a pig collectible. Rat cheer. Eight more pig. Oh, we must have, well, I guess we already found one. And then coming up to this bridge, and again, I don't know if we've already found... I think I see the colors. Yes, I do. I think it's a cow, a sheep, and a pig. Yep. So there's a blue pig, a green sheep, and a red cow. All right, so I want to bring the cult. Well, let's see. Do we have any more cultivating missions? Oh, no. I don't want to do that. We're going to pick up this guy. Oh, wait. <gasps> Phew. I need to make sure I borrow the items first. That would have been incredibly bad had I not done that. We're going to have to offload him soon, too. Okay. So, of these two tractors, which is the more powerful one? So, this is a Massey Ferguson 8S225. Let's see. Whoops. Let's see. Well, they're not going to be in mine. That almost seems like a small one to me. The heck is that? Methane power. Oh, I like the color of it. That's pretty cool. But it's like super low horsepower. If you guys run one of these, let me know uh, what you use it for. Oh, look at all these weird tractors. Which one is it? It almost looks like one of these. Can't be a large one. Well, which one is it? Massey Ferguson 8S225. I mean, this is medium. I mean, it doesn't really look like a medium tractor. Because look, even look at it compared to the John Deere, the fork. Yeah, it just doesn't look right. I'm going to actually use this one. Do we even have front weights on this job? Oh, no. And again, we're, we're going to field 60. Uh, let's see. 
here. Set destination. I'm going to put him like right there. Wait. Oh, okay. All right. I got the right one. <laughs> I was like, uh. All right. So this one, we're going to have the two bins here. Hopefully this one's got a latch on the back. Otherwise, I'm going to be incredibly disappointed. Sweet. And we're going to do the same with him. Uh, set destination. And then kind of go maybe like right up here. All right. So we've got to offload him. Oh, and I didn't check the uh, price of the uh, fertilizer spreader. I, th I know it's around 25,000. Oh, it's 25,000 even. So this is the one that we want to buy. Rats here. This is going to be a major workhorse for us. And then I think once he's full, we're going to take this up. Now for this job, sorghum, and it has to go to Goldcrest Valley. So what we'll do is we'll take this up here, drop it off, Bring it back and get ready to offload all over again. I love the sounds. The sounds so the, the sounds are so much nicer. Like you can you can hear kind of the hydraulic sounds. The sounds of the, the steel shifting. That just sounds awesome. Now the other thing that I want, um, we need to get, well first we need to get up to 25,000 so they can buy the fertilizer. And then hopefully we'll have enough for a seed bag, maybe two. Then we'll go up and do that field 32, I think it was. Um, what, am I, what am I looking at here? Next we'll need to go into weeders and I'll probably, oh, okay, so 9,500, that'll get our weeding done for the season. But we're going to kind of stick around in September because there's so many jobs to do. AI worker has complete, okay, so there's the AI workers here. Ooh, ooh he's like... He's getting angry. All right, let's turn this on. Okay, let's turn the harvester on. 
Oh my gosh, look how narrow the thing is. This is gonna take forever. Whoops. Okay, V to lower the harvester. And then we're just gonna have to kind of... Wait, it's not working. Why is it not working? Lift? Do I need to put the pipe out? Nope. No field found. Wait, is this the right field? Potatoes, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely in field number 60. Why isn't... I don't understand why this ain't working. Maybe if I actually drive upon the field. Still not. Potatoes. Potatoes. Growth, remove. Oh, we need to cut the tops. So they didn't give us a, a topper. Wait, full harvester, low harvester, turn on harvester. They seriously shafted us. I'm kind of not sure what to do right now. Um, potato technology. We should have gotten this. Before potatoes can be harvested, the foliage needs to be cut with a home topper like this one. Yeah, they should have included one of these with the contract. That's gonna actually force us to lease this. Thankfully, it's not too expensive. And we've got a tractor up here. <clears throat> interesting. Very, very interesting. Do we have a P... I don't think we have a PTO on the front of this. See if I do have a PTO. Because it's easier to work with if it's on the front. But I really don't think this has a front PTO. Though we can carry it down there on the front, that's no problem. Maybe. Oh, there's a PTO on the front, apparently. Alright, so let's um Let's put him down here. Uh oh. Come on. It's always something with these guys. They're so picky and choosy. I swear. All right. All right, next up. Yep, we need to offload. Let's get rid of the uh, F1 menu there.
How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing pretty good on time. Ah, I'm just sitting here wasting time. It really bugs me. Um, all right, so the another thing we need to do is we need to bring this guy back to the farm. Oh, someone asked in my videos the other day about can you spray off your vehicles? Um, yes, you can, but um, they're not kind of in with mis uh, miscellaneous equipment. And actually, before I before I show you that, I'm just going to set this guy's destination back to the home farm. That way, he's not you know sitting there doing nothing. Um, so hit P to go into the shop or whatever, you know, if you're on console, go into the others menu. You do have to go to construction and then, um, I think it's under, no, it's not production. Is it, I think it's, no, not decoration. Others? No. Factory stuff. So Oh, tools. So it's under buildings and tools. And right there is your Karcher um, sprayer. And then you've also got like the weather station. This is actually pretty important to buy early on in the game. Um, vehicle workshop will also uh, be a good thing to have near your, your home farm to keep um, your vehicles repaired and everything like that too so that's where that kind of stuff is so yeah it was a little bit confusing um but that's where that stuff is all right let's fire him It does kind of bother me, though, that the vehicles don't stop at the stop signs. It does. Ah. Um, turn on topper. Lower topper. And, and it's basically just a lawnmower for... Potato plants, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't have access to this land. The plant behavior just is a lot better. I mean, there have been a few exceptions, but I would say overall, they they really got it got it down. Um, I'm kind of sad that there's not more harvesting jobs and no silaging jobs, and maybe those will come in the future. But I'm kind of disappointed that ah, that I can't drive. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed that um, they don't have those options, uh, you know, off the start because that would be a good. I mean, a silaging job for as much as the silage pays, I would think that that would be a freaking awesome job to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple head, uh, a couple rows here, just mowing, and then we'll be able to um, switch him around. Uh, let's see here. 51%. Let's go ahead and start him. Just so we can get this offloaded.
Alright, so we'll go ahead and take this, drop it off. And then hopefully, well, we'll get this, we'll get the potato harvester started, and then hopefully by the next episode, we'll be able to get that done. Maybe get some other jobs uh, completed as well, and then be able to do that fertilizing job as well. And that's just how we're, you know, people are like looking at farming sim and they're like, you know, just doing the field jobs, but there's a lot more to it, um, to, you know, to, to earn money, especially early in the game. And again, we're playing on easy mode. And so, you know, from, from that regard, the game's still not very easy. This is definitely the most difficult farming simulator I think we've had to date, so something to think about, just saying. Alright, so let's head back over. I don't think we're gonna need to actually well let's just get this guy out of the road at least. There. Now now we should be okay. I wonder if I can yeah, there we go. Potatoes attack of the killer potato. No. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh, this thing is so narrow. I'm not really seeing them being processed through the entire harvester, though. Because I think they're supposed to go through the back, then up this thing up here, and then they go down this long chute and then fall in the bin in the front. Though the bin appears to be filling up slightly. I mean, we're already 24%, look at that, 25% full. Which I'll be honest is, is surprisingly full for this. for unknown reasons. That's very nice. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, I'm going to have to go farther over to the left here. Can I tell? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I think if we go about three of these rows in, that might be... Right about where we want. Maybe you now. We've got to be right about here, I think. <clears throat> so, kind of the front right of the the hood, that, that top right corner on the hood or front right corner, um, 
you know, if you have that right about on that third row in, you should we should be okay, I think. Now I still find this tractor a complete mystery. 8 at S255. I want to find where this I I want to say it's a small tractor, but I don't really think it's a small tractor. Da, 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 da. See, I don't think it's one of the, and I can kind of see the that 8S in the background, but it doesn't, I mean, it's got that stripe that goes down. Maybe this is it. Let's see, look how small the front end is. Let's see if we can compare it. No, that's a much bigger front end. So this has got to be in the medium category. Oh, here it is. Eight, so 225 horsepower up to 325. That's pretty beefy. So we have the, let's see, so the 8S2. Okay, so here's the 225. It's 245 horsepower, <laughs> which I think is actually more than the tractor we have on there. Um, okay, so let's let's stop because this tractor I think is only 190. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yep, I did it. Second. Attached. Okay, and I'm just going to hire the worker. Then I think the tipper come or the pipe comes out to the left. So we'll find out. AI worker J has completed the task. Yep, there it is. Oh gosh. Come on. Dump your potatoes in me. No, 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 stop. That looks freaky. I almost want to take a I want to take a print screen of that. Those are like the freakiest potatoes I've ever seen. Looks more like oats. <laughs> All 
All right, so we'll see what happens there. Worker stopped unexpectedly for unknown reasons. Ugh. Um. Oh, he's the grain's full. Have to come up here and get that right there. And then let's see how much time do we have? Ooh, we're coming up to an hour. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to rent this train. So we're going to visit this place. Oh, it's right here. So we'll rent that. $1,000 an hour. He's pretty close. But I just wanted to get that going. So let's jump back into the, com whoop, the combine here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send off via the train ah! whatever we have right now. All right, so let's do that. AI worker has completed their task. Before I offload this, I want to check. Yes, I want to check you. Ah! Ah, it's like one of the reasons why I don't like you transitioning between the uh, Xbox controller. So we only have 724, so it's going to get us up to like maybe 800 at the most. Not even. I do think there's a little bit more way out here. Okay, he's still mowing. I don't even know why I'm coming all the way out here. So this is probably not even going to get us up to 800, but I don't know. We'll see. leave about 2,000 liters okay so right about there and then where did the train go there we go start you up now I think the first time we did this it was at night and it was on a different contract that we ended up failing because I sent the train backwards. And I've been told, don't do that. Though, I think that that should be fixed. I don't think it should really matter which uh, which way your train goes. Um, but maybe it, maybe it does. All right, so we're going to open the cover here on this first tank. And then we're going to start filling <coughs> with the sorghum. 
And hopefully this will satisfy the contract. If not, then we're going to have to bring it back. Here's the inside of the train. I don't think the train has really changed. I'd have to go back and look at the old farming sim, but I mean, just looking at the you know the, the lower resolution textures in here, this might be the same train that we've had for you know forever. I don't know why it seems so dark in there too. That's like so dark. They should. They should do something with these windows. Look at how huge of a difference that is. I really don't think train windows are that dirty in real life. I just don't. Here we go. You guys ready? The train will now travel to Goldcrest Valley and will return on the other side of the map. Do you want the train to sell the loaded uh, goods in Goldcrest Valley? I want to say yes. And contract on field number 58 finished. Now what I want to do is I want to take this guy. We're going to offload the combine. And then I'm gonna take this sorghum back to the farm. And then if we look at the calendar, oh wait, now we have to look here. So we'll have some sorghum. Uh, we can sell it for 1800 in Goldcrest Valley, but that might not even be the best time to sell it. But I don't want to. I don't want to end this contract. So yeah, we've got twenty seven hundred. Well, actually, let's do this. I want to send you up here. And then let's see, let's just jump into this tractor because he's going to be in the way. Target is unreachable. Great. What do you mean target is unreachable? You're unreachable. <laughs> All right. Boom. Driving the target. All right. He's going. All right. Oh, come on. Nothing to see here. Do it again, set destination, bam, and bam. All right. And then, okay, the other guy's moving, he's moving. Um, oh, this is the, this is this guy. Wait. 
to be about here, maybe? No? Right about there. Alrighty. Well, let's see. As soon as this other tractor... Oh. The next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this potato technology. We're just going to return that. Because I don't want to pay more. I don't want to keep paying on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. see. Where is the other... Oh, here we go. All right. Hired worker off. <clears throat> so we're gonna drive this back. We're just gonna offload this for right now at the farm and then uh, we'll, we'll collect on that contract and That'll be the end of the episode, I think. We'll see how much money we've got. Should be over 25000 for sure. Okay, we're just going to drive here. Whoop. Watch out, my dear, oh dear. And... <clears throat> there we go. So, we got a little bit more sorghum there. Let's jump out. And... We'll collect that fifty-seven ninety-nine. There it is. Now we've got a lot of other contracts that we can do. Um, most of the, well, all of these are fertilizing, and um, that's going to help us get up to, you know, a lot more. Well, a lot more money. So we're up to twenty-seven hundred dollars. Um, yeah, we'll be able to purchase the fertilizer, and then do some fertilizing contracts to make even more money and and hopefully we'll have enough by then to buy all of the uh well to buy the weeding the weeding equipment the weeders and then we'll be able to come over here and we're going to be able to clean up all of our fields so that we can get a much better uh crop yield by the time, you know, the next season rolls around and we have to harvest this. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys and gals. Thank you so much for hanging out with me playing some Farming Simulator 22. As always, please hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Um, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you're, you know, how you're enjoying Farming Simulator 22 and, uh, you know, what your farming experience has been like. Always enjoy hearing from you guys and gals. And last but not least, please subscribe for this and many more videos. We are approaching 89,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. Thank you all so much. Um, and then we're pushing forward to 100,000. So uh, please be sure to subscribe for this and many more videos. I'll see you next time. I'm Brad M73. Bye for now.